Hi guys, Bill Jordan here. I'm at 201-790-3368. I do candid video interviews, and if you're a painter, sculptor, or a candlestick maker, this is where you need to be. People buy from people they know. The reason why is because, you know, that's the way it is, man. And the best way for them to know you is with my candid video interview. Once they, once you do a candid video interview with me, they will know you on the soul level. And that's what counts. You want people to know you on the soul level because that's where it really happens. That's the difference between the NBC, the CBS, and the posh poshes. I'm that posh, I'm candid. Okay, so now here's the deal, guys. There's a, there's a saying that goes, <clears throat> You know, you say, is it fear you're afraid of or is it fear of success? And I thought about that as well. I don't know. Success? Yeah. I mean, I'm successful already, even though, you know, success is what? I mean, you, you plan something and it works out, right? The only thing now is I have to plan, replan my strategy so I have a new success. Now, it, for me, it, it resonated that the, the fear factor was in you know, the fact that if I made a change, that was, the, that was the scary part. That was the painful part, changing from one mindset to another, changing from, from a mindset that I was comfortable with. It was the comfort of just living in that one type of thinking that it's okay, this is all right, I'll do it this way. And, and the journey was, the exploration journey, this is what it is. There's a book called, I think it's called The Last Frontier or the ultimate frontier, something like that. But you know where the last frontier is? It's like with Barbarella, with Jane Fonda. It's inside you. Like that's where it is, man. Somebody loves me, they want an interview. That's what it is. The last frontier is where the real journey takes place. You know, and so like now, I'm, I'm throwing something out there to you so you can ingest it in your mind that goes into your frontier, you know, your head and everything. And you're going to say, well, do I want to take this adventure? Do you have the, the real adventuresome spirit, the real spirit of the artist? You know, not to be tethered to the status quo, to the standards of what you know, you know, to, to go for something different. I mean, that's what it really boils down to. That's, that's the fear factor, right? And the things, the steps we have to take to get there. You know, we, we don't want to take risk the fear. Of, we don't want to risk failure. Because we see failure as a way of, it's, it's painful. That's what it is, it's painful. And we don't want pain. However, that type of thinking sort of like doesn't get us to the point of the benefit of incidents that come into our life. Everything comes into our lives for benefit. It's how we, how we negotiate it. Now, I will admit there's some situations that I can't speak to, you know, strongly on, you know, about mass murders and all that kind of stuff i you know the benefit is that's that's, that's a cosmic relationship i'm not sure the benefit you know i'm not conscious of that nor ordinarily but the, my theory is that it all works out that way so your benefit is how we play it we all have the same we all have a deck of cards in our hands how do we play the cards okay so now here it is i'm asking you i'm inviting you to come with me to explore a new territory and I know you're, you have that pioneering spirit in your blood, right? Because your, your ancestors were pioneers, right? They pioneered coming here. You know, anybody who came here from someplace else had a lot to give up. And I can relate to that because I, I left the United States in 2002 with the intention of never coming back. You know, it, you, know it, it, you, you have to go through some stuff, man. You have to go through stuff. You know, so I, I commend all those people who have to come from someplace else. You know, they come here because, you know, that's what it is. They have nothing and, you know, they live, they make it. And so that's pioneering spirit. That's the, you know, pioneering or hustler spirit. Are you a hustler or are you just content because you got a few, a few things, you know, a few baubles and bangles, right? You know what I'm talking about. I'm not saying you, you know, you, you're rich, but, you know, your attitude is like, well, it's okay, you know, I'll stay like this. There's a group of painters, man. These guys, you know, those, I mean, I, I, I just don't get them. They're, they're very rigid, you know, this is what we do, and that's it. You know, this is, our, this is our code and our group. 
but, but and they had their, their their super superstars, but no bad boys, no bad girls. You know, they all have to pay the piper. There's one guy who controls them. You know, he puts on big shows for them every year. You know, he gives them, you know, he gives them uh, like TV shows. He gives them interviews. You know, he like owns them. <laughs> because none of them had the, 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 you know, the courage to stand up and go out on their own. And he did it. I'm happy for him, you know. But, you know. He's just like a Barry Gordy, Barry Gordy of uh, of the art world. You know, he's he's signing these guys that guys up to slave contracts, All right? Now you know who I'm talking about. I'm not going to mention any names. You know the guy, All right? But that's the way it is, guys. If if you want someone else to take responsibility for you, that's what you get. But you can take responsibility for yourself. And no matter if I call one of those guys. You know, one of the, the guys, this guy is pimping. And, you know, he doesn't want my service. He wants the other guy's service. I'll tell you what, it look, his work looks slick, but it's very superficial. You know, it's a lot of, you know, gadgets and gimmicks. That's what this guy does. The head guy, you know, the pimp dude, the pimp is gadgeting and gimmicking you, right? And he's got all these artists, you know, there is hoes pimping. Now, I don't want you to fall into that trap. Come with me, 201-790-3368. I'm Bill Jordan. I do candid video interviews, and they're not posh. They're, they're just candid, man. And because they're candid, they get into the soul level. That's where it's at, man. I mean, it's not rocket science, you know? Ready anyway. I'm at 201-790-3368. Like some painters say they've been painting since nine or 10. I've been preparing this since I was preparing for this since I was three. So I'm qualified, man. You know, I'm qualified for this work. <laughs> Hit me up 201-790-3368. I love you. Peace out.